James is a proud and a splendid red engine. He loves chugging around Sodor and showing off his red livery. His favorite job is pulling coaches. Good morning, James. You look very splendid today as always. I know I am, Reneas. Always splendid and always on time. Ugh, come on! I'm going to be late for my work! What's the passenger's problem? Oh, that's the grumpy passenger, R James. Duncan always has to deal with him all the time. The grumpy passenger always likes to complain everything. Like if we run late, he will always like to complain to Mr. Percival. And not just us, James. He always complains to Sir Top Ahead if your engines runs late as well. So you might as well be careful, James, and try not to be late. Don't worry, Reneas. I'm a splendid red engine and always on time and careful. I'll give this grumpy passenger a nice ride. Okay, James, if you say so. I am just the brightest engine on Sodor. Hello, Harvey. What do you think of my splendid red paintwork? Slow it down, James. There's a bumpy trek up ahead. And Harvey was right. There was a bumpy track. Bust my buffers. This is the bumpiest trek ever. Some of James's passengers were bounced around like peas in the pod. But that didn't last long. He was soon out of the bumpy tracks. Hello, Nafford! Hello, Edward and Molly. What do y'all think of my splendid red paintwork? I just got it washed down. <coughs> Oh dear, here we go again. James, I have been bounced around all day. I'm gonna have to complain to Sir Topham Hat. Just then, Emily came by and reached rudely to the grumpy passenger. Bless me, what was that? Emily tried not to laugh. I'm definitely telling this to Sir Topham Hat and he will not be pleased. And Sir Topham Hat wasn't. James and Emily are very disappointed at you. And Emily, what was the reason that you wished at the passenger for? I wished at the grumpy passenger because one time I was late, he he called me a slow and not really useful. It wasn't my fault. There was a cow on the line. I know it wasn't your fault, Emily. But there is absolutely no reason to wish at the passenger like that. Now James, I've got a biggest complaint from him and the other passengers as well. They all have been saying what a bad engine you are and what a bad railway this is. Pah! Those passengers are just being silly sir. And this grumpy passenger really needs to chill. Oh, honestly James, we are supposed to look after our passengers. And James, I know this passenger well. He is always grumpy, and he will always find something to complain about. James, if you don't do your job well, and continue on stopping at the station quickly, and if I get another complaint from your passengers, I'm taking your coaches away, and I'll have you pull the flying kipper for Henry. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. The next morning, James has to take passengers, and he was in a bad mood. Oh, I say! Careful, James! You just bumped the passengers! I'm in a bad mood right now, Edward. Sir Topham Hat says, if I get a complaint from the grumpy passenger, 
He'll take my coaches away. I'd rather pull dusty cars than this grumpy passenger. If you excuse me, I got this passenger to run. Good day, Edward. As James puffed away from Nafford, Edward noticed something on the track. James, stop! You're, you're leaking brake fluid! But James didn't hear Edward. James was indeed leaking brake fluid. And without enough fluid, his brakes couldn't work well at all. There was a red signal for James to stop. But then there was trouble. Oh no! I can't stop! Down the line, Donald and Douglas were waiting for their signal to go green, and they had no idea that James was about to crash into their train. Oh, help! Oh no! cried James. Luckily, the passengers, Donald and Douglas, weren't hurt, but James was badly damaged. Boko arrived with Jerome, and Duck came to take James's passengers. And Sir Topham Hatt was also there. And the grumpy passenger was talking to Sir Topham Hatt. He was complaining. James was sure now that Sir Topham Hatt is going to take his coaches away after what happened. After the grumpy passenger was done talking to Sir Topham Hatt, he got on the duck's train, complaining as usual. But Sir Topham Hatt wasn't cross at all with James. The accident wasn't your fault. Edward had discovered that you were leaking blake through it after you left Nafford. And don't worry, James, I'm not going to take your coaches away. We'll soon get you all repaired up again. You can be ready for work. Thank you, sir, said James. James was glad that Sir Tom Hatt is not taking his coaches away. But he is upset that he's going to be at the Steamworks for a long repairs. Uh -huh.